Hi, this is the Ask Patrick series. We are answering questions based on calculation and any queries that you have. This question is specifically by Naman Pandey. He says that I've been reading for the last one and a half years, almost two to three hours every day. But my scores in verbal are stuck at 25 to 30 marks. So what should I do? Reading I'm already doing. And you always recommend reading, but your scores are not improving. Understand that only reading, yes, helps. I'm not saying no. The fact that you're doing 20 marks definitely helps. I'm not saying no. But the key ingredient, you know, in that whole process of, you know, cracking the exam or cracking the RC is to enjoy your reading. If you don't enjoy your reading, there is no point how much you read, you will not benefit. So first thing is, important point is enjoy your reading. I mean, you should like I mean, there was a time when I used to start reading economic papers, etc. And I used to hate it because I didn't understand anything. Okay. But then I said, no, let me try to enjoy what I'm reading. Let me try to see what knowledge I get. That helped me to gain interest. So then what I did was any passage that I read or anything that I read, I tried to get, in, I tried to get, you know, understand it and get interested in the whole topic. Okay. That helped me to, you know, improve my RC because then I started getting interest. If I focus on what the author was trying to say, and automatically help. Second thing, way maybe one more method or way I could say, try doing it if it helps you, is to try to question the author. Okay. Now one reason that people do make mistakes, a lot of people who actually read a lot do mistakes is because they put their own ideas into the passage. Okay. They say that I have this idea and the author should also communicate a similar idea. So that means they force their ideas on the passage, on the author. And then they interpret the passage based on what they feel is right. This is a common mistake for people who read a lot. In this case, recommendation is try to be very clear between your viewpoint and the author's viewpoint. So when you're reading, always question saying that, is your viewpoint matching the author's viewpoint? Yes or no? If it's not, what is the difference? And appreciate the difference. The moment you find a difference, and the moment you keep questioning yourself when you're reading, it will help you to understand the whole passage better. Right? Try doing that. Question yourself reading doctor. I'm not saying that stop every time and try to question. So when you're reading the flow, you should question yourself. I mean, there are a lot of time when I read, I feel that, okay, the author is not in to sync with what I am thinking. I feel that's okay. So let me try to understand what the author thinks because my question has to be based on what the author is thinking. So in that case, you need to appreciate the difference of thought process and then try to work on the difference and get the answer. So that is a good process of questioning when you're reading. It helps to improve your you know, understanding of the passage. So enjoy reading. Question when you read the passage. Third important thing is when you read, focus on the central idea. Don't focus on details. When you, when you focus on details, you lose out on that essence of the passage. Okay, And because of which your questions go wrong, because the questions are normally based on central idea. Focus purely on the central idea. If there are details, understand the details, skim through it. Don't go into reading every detail about it. The skill to read in terms of the focus on central idea. Don't read like a normal RC passage. When you read a RC passage, you have to go to every detail thinking that, oh, this could be asked in the question, this could be asked in the question. No. You need to know the flow. You need to know the central idea. Avoid details. I mean, the glance through the details, but don't go deep into details. And anyway, you know where the details are. So when you, there's a direct question, which normally is not in the cap. You can always go back to that passage and find out the details, right? If you do these three things, I'm sure it will help you. Enjoy reading, question what the author is saying, and as I said, uh, what do you, uh, focus on the center. These three things will help. Hope it helps. Thank you.